Hi guys, so another thing many people want me to contribute to has to do with freehand versus pattern drafting. Oh my goodness, that particular debate, I hardly get myself involved in it. But because people have been asking about it, here's what I'm going to tell you in this video. I'm going to give you insights as to what makes pattern drafting advantageous when compared to um, the freehand method of dress making. Okay, so for those who do not understand what freehand or pattern drafting is, freehand is basically cutting um, directly on fabric, you're marking directly on fabric and cutting and taking to the tailor, sorry, taking to the sewing machine. And that's what many tailors do. You may have even seen your tailor do that. Pattern drafting, on the other hand, is the use of, is making use of patterns, placing these patterns on the fabric before cutting. Now, many people get into this debate and unfortunately they do so um from a place of ignorance why do i say this majority of people who do this have not used both methods okay so they are really just talking from one side of the equation they haven't tested both sides and then come to a reasonable logical conclusion okay so oftentimes it's just something that is done out of um ignorance really okay Myself, I have used the freehand method. I have used the pattern drafting method. Now, I use the freehand method for about a year, or thereabout, and I've used the pattern drafting method for about seven years. So that should tell you something, really. Okay. In simple terms, this is the only thing I'm going to say on this debate: is the styles that can cut with freehand, I can cut with pattern drafting. Okay. Styles that can cut with freehand, I can cut with pattern drafting. Now, styles that can cut with pattern drafting, on the other hand. I can't cut all of them with freehand. So, I mean, come to the conclusion yourself. That means that one is limited while the other is advantageous. That's just the basic truth. Now, as to the one that you should be going for, I can't tell you exactly because I don't know exactly what you want to get out of whatever you want to learn. The fact that you want to learn how to sew, many people want to learn how to sew, sorry, doesn't mean that they all want to learn the same thing. So, it's not like learning freehand is bad. If you are going to be uh, focusing on some kinds of clothes that freehand can cut comfortably and you know that you're not going beyond that level then by all means go ahead to learn the freehand but you know you want to get knowledge of dressmaking that is more well-rounded okay something that touches a bit on many different kinds of styles and clothes and, and stuff like that then i will advise that you go for pattern drafting okay and that is because, like I said, there are some styles that you can go to pattern drafting and you dare not try it with freehand. You're just going to be wasting your time. You're just going to be wasting your fabric and you still wouldn't get what you want. Okay. So for beginners who may not really know what exactly they want to learn, I always tell them, look, go ahead and learn pattern drafting. And from there, you can choose to go this way or that way because you have knowledge on many different kinds of things and you are able to adapt that knowledge when working with a number of different styles so freehand versus pattern drafting what is your own take on this i have told you mine and that is what i'm working with okay i learned freehand i learned pattern drafting after learning pattern drafting i dropped freehand and i don't use it anymore i haven't used freehand in seven good years so that should tell you something okay so um what about you which do you prefer have you tried both of them let me know